Hi guys, welcome back to Spelling and Word Study. My name is Mrs. Rhodes, and I'm here today to get you started on Unit 11, Consonant Digraphs. Please take a second to gather your materials. You will need this teal book open to page 71. You will also need some colorful pens, markers, or crayons. Remember, whatever I mark on my board, you should be marking on your page. Save room for a key as well. If you can't fit it on this page, another sheet of paper is fine. All right, so last week we learned about R blends. We know that R blends at the beginning of a word can be tricky, especially DR blends in words like drive and drink and TR blends in words like trick and trap. Well, this week we're going to review some of our R blends and we're gonna see some new R blends, but we're also gonna be focusing on the concept of a consonant digraph. Remember, a consonant digraph takes two letters, puts them together to create a whole new sound. So for instance, SH says sh, CH says ch, and TH says ph. Now I know you saw these before in first grade and maybe even kindergarten. So what I want to do this week is build on that knowledge a little bit and show you how these same digraphs can be used in more complicated patterns. So let's start by reading our list. And as we do, keep your eyes peeled for some of these digraphs I just mentioned. Branch, crash, fresh, lunch, quench, shelf, shrimp, Splash, throne, and thumb. Did you find a digraph in each of these? Awesome. All right, so what I want to do is I want to start by introducing um, a new um, digraph blend. So in the past, we've blended two letters, like the BR says brr, the CR says but I want you to look at this word. We have three letters, but we are blending two sounds. We're blending the SH with the R. So this says shr, shr. We see it in the word shrimp, but we also see it in a word like shred. Okay, so over here, Blue box equals SHR blend. Okay, we are blending our SH digraph with the R sound to make shr. Now we see something similar happening in the word throne. This time we're blending the TH digraph with the R, thr, thrown, okay? You see this one even more often. You see it in words like three and thrum and thrash. Maybe we don't see it that often, uh, but still, it's a good one to learn. So, green box equals THR blend. Okay. Now, the CH blend, I know you're very um, comfortable with that. You know that CH says ch, but I wanna show you how it can be used at the end of a word. In a word like branch, we're blending the N with the CH. So we have the unch blend. We see it again in lunch, and quench, and I guess that's it, okay? So this is the unch blend. 
only shows up at the end of a word or the end of a syllable. Okay, but it's important that you hear and write that N sound because if you don't, it's going to say branch and lutch and quetch. Totally different words. Okay, uh, what else do I want to show you? Oh, we talked about silent letters recently, right? Um, a lot of our silent letter teams show up at the beginning of a word like WR at the beginning of rap and wrist, K-N at the beginning of words like knock and knee. Well, today we're circling back to another silent letter team that shows up at the end of a word. Have you spotted it? Good, right here. The M-B at the end of thumb, okay? The M talks, the B is silent. We saw that before in words like numb and lamb. So now we can add thumb to our mental list of MV words. So orange square equals silent letter team. Okay. One more uh, letter combination I want to talk about. Um, until last week, our blends all had two sounds, right? And then last week, we learned about some triple blends. We learned about the S-T-R in words like street and the S-C-R in a word like scrap. The S-P-R in a word like sprint. Well, I have a new triple blend for you today. Have you spotted it yet? All right, right here. S-P-L is a triple blend. It's a blend and not a digraph because each of those letters keeps its own sound. We can hear it. sp l ash splash. One, two, three, four, five sounds. Okay, so purple box equals triple blend. Remember, triple means three. All right, so we have also been learning about parts of speech, nouns, verbs. Soon we'll talk about adjectives. Uh, but for today, I want to focus on nouns. So you know that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing right? If you can touch it, it's a noun. If you can draw a picture of it, it's a noun. If you can hold it in your hand, it's a noun, right? So a branch, well, that's a noun. I could draw a picture of a branch. I could go outside and touch a branch. So I'm going to put an N next to that for noun. Crash can be a verb like, oh no, don't crash your bike, but it can also be a noun, right? I was driving down the highway and I saw a really bad crash. So a bunch of cars that have hit each other, those are a crash. Okay, fresh is a describing word. Lunch is a noun, right? I eat my lunch. I could draw a picture of my lunch. Quench is a verb. That's something you do when you're thirsty, right? You just ran the mile, you're really, really thirsty, so you chug some water. That water will quench your thirst. A shelf, that's a noun. A shrimp, that's a noun. Um, a splash can be a noun. It can be a verb too, right? You can splash the water, but you can also make a big splash if you can involve. Um, and then a throne is a noun because that's a chair, a fancy chair that a king or queen sits in. And then a thumb is also a noun. Okay, so this week we have lots of nouns. Now in the past, you learned, oh, I'm sorry, before I do that, let's add this to our key. Green N stands for noun. Okay. Now, in the past, you learned that you can change a singular noun to a plural noun by adding S, right? You can change cat to cats. You can change dog to dogs. 
You also learn that sometimes just an S doesn't sound right. Sometimes we need to add ES. So for instance, I cut down one branch. I cut down many branches. I saw one crash. There were many crashes on the highway. I made one lunch this week. I made many lunches. Um, I made one splash in the pool. I made many splashes. Okay, notice ES, 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 ES. Yet, if I want to change shrimp to shrimps, I'm not sure that's a word actually. That might be one of those words like deer and deer or moose and moose. So I'm going to leave that one. Um, but if I want to change throne to thrones, I just add S. If I want to change thumb to thumbs, I just add S. So why did I sometimes add ES and sometimes S? Yeah, it had to do with the final sound. If the final sound is ch, then branch isn't going to sound right. It needs to be branch is. If the final sound is sh, well, crash doesn't sound right. It has to be crashes. So just notice that when a word ends with ch or sh, ch or sh, you have to add es to the ending. Okay? You're going to get more practice with that when you get to page 74. In this chart, you have words like bench, brush, and lunch, and you have to change them to benches, brushes, and lunches by adding es. Now, on the bottom, you're going to see something really strange. You're going to see a bunch of words that end with elf, um, f, shelf, elf, half, calf, wife. All of those words end with the f sound. Well, it turns out that if you want to take a word that ends with f and make it plural, you often change that f to a v. So shelf becomes shelves. See how the F turned into a V? And then we added ES. You take a word like calf, right? A baby cow. The mother cow had two calves. We change the F to a V and then we add ES. Take a word like half. You can have half of my sandwich. No, never mind. I'm not hungry. You can have both halves. Change the F to a V and add ES. Okay? This isn't as common in our language, but it's still good to know. So you will practice that later in the unit. Okay, real quick, let's check our vocab. Branch, part of a tree. Crash, bang things together. Fresh can mean new, right? Or not stale, not rotten, like fresh tomatoes or freshly picked strawberries. We know what lunches are. To quench something means to stop thirst, okay? Sports drinks cold water. Those will quench your thirst. We know what a shelf is, right? We store things on shelves. Um, a shrimp is a tiny little uh, sea creature, right? Uh, seafood restaurants serve shrimp. We know what splash is. We talked about thrones being fancy chairs for royalty. And then, of course, your thumbs are these fingers. All right, that's all I have for you. You guys are ready for this unit. Good luck, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.